baby, it is hot. We are currently in a heat wave. It is summer, it is hot as it can be. So I'm gonna bring some attention to something. A lot of people still don't understand that you cannot leave your animals or anything in your car when it's hot like this. This is the hot car challenge. I'm gonna get in, shut it off, and show you how hot it gets, how fast, see how long I can even withstand it to be in there, take care of your pets, watch after what you do. Even if you're gonna run inside to a store for a little bit, take your pets or leave your pets at home in the air conditioning. Let's get into this. If you're gonna put your animal in a car, I'm gonna show you what it'll do to a human. So imagine wearing a fur coat all day. Let's get it, let's get in this car. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Starting about 94 degrees. This is a fully tinted air conditioned truck. So what we're doing is it is a heat wave right now. A lot of people still don't understand that you need to not leave your pet in a car. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this phone's definitely gonna shut off. It's already hot. Cute little dog paper. Let's see what happens. Okay, anyways, it's gonna be hot. Let's just throw it out there. It's gonna be really damn hot. Now, a lot of people have this concept that they can run into a store, leave their dog in the car. The mere fact of it is that animals with heat stroke and everything that happens, yeah, you're gonna mess your dog up. You're gonna lose your dog, heat stroke. There's so many different things that can happen. Or a nice brown shirt. I don't wear brown very often, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see uh, how much I sweat. And Brian is braving this one. The cameras are locked right here, but we're gonna see how long both of us can last. We're starting out at 94, 95. And the, dude. Shut off? It did, yeah. Okay, so the phone that we had on live already went temperature. So you may end up only getting the camera on this. Okay, we're just gonna have to get into this. That was fast. That was that was uh, unacceptably fast. There we go. We are started. Oh, it got really hot. Okay, so now we're at 90. Six. And it says the temperature out is 110 right now. So let's just set it and forget it. We're just getting up to a minute and it's it's heating up. But a lot of times people think, you know, that they can run in to the store really quick. I'm gonna take this off because it's gonna start getting real hot. A lot of people think that they can run into a store really quick. It won't matter that nothing really is gonna change or happen or, or be bad. Heat stroke in animals can happen really fast. Um, and a lot of times people don't know how to deal with that too. There's a lot of times where we've seen cases that animals end up passing away because a owner sometimes will go and grab ice and put them in a cold bath and throw them in which is the wrong thing to do. You don't want to instantly cool their body down because they can either go to seizures, it, it just can end their life very fast. And we've seen it actually happen, transporters, when they take rescue dogs and for different rescues and they don't preempt them on how to do it or how to go about it, they will put them in the back of a car, even AC doesn't reach all the way back there. And in this kind of heat, it's really fast that it can set in. So then they'll get ice and they'll dump it on them and everything and it puts them to shock and kills them. So there's a lot of things that can happen, which this is one of the main things to remember. You have to take them out, take them with you in places, or just not risk it. So we're getting up towards 100 degrees, because even in the air conditioning, this car was already at about 92 to 94 degrees. So yeah, within three minutes, we're already at 100 almost. Yeah. Whew. Imagine if you had just an extra layer of fur. Yeah, no, that's like wearing a sweater. Oh, we should have worn a sweater. Uh-oh. Shut off. Still got it there. All right, the phone officially even shut down. And we're not even at five minutes yet. So it is, think about it. When you're using your phone and you're doing things and your phone shuts off because it's that hot, that's where we're at right now. I'm trying not to move as much as I can. It's imagine if you're like trying to like move around and breathe yeah. and you're all <laughs> There you go. Oh my work? God. Do you know how hot that would make it in here if we were just, <laughs> hey Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, we're about to cross 100. Okay, so the lives went down because the phones can't take it. So this phone has been sitting down in my center console. And yeah, already drenched. We are seven minutes in. We're just at 100 degrees in here. And you gotta remember, this is a ceramic coated window. Like, try to keep the heat out best as possible, what you can pay for. We're drenched in here. This is gonna be a shade, a darker shade of brown soon. Even the phone shut off. So uh, we'll see how, how long we can do this. It's been hot now. <laughs> like hot, hot. If it's hot outside, at 75 degrees outside, 10 minutes, it'll turn into 100 degrees in a car. At 75 degrees, at 30 minutes, it could be 120. If it is 100 degrees in 15 minutes, it can reach 140 degrees or 12 and a half minutes. And it is, it is hot, like, holy crap. Although we humans can sweat and regulate our body temperature, this extreme heat can still be deadly, especially for infants and toddlers. Dogs have a harder time adjusting to heat than most humans, so being stuck in a hot car quickly becomes life-threatening. When the temperature rises, dogs will try to cool off by panting. <laughs> like I was saying, you know how much hot air I'm blowing in the world? <sighs> this is our world right now, too. When the temperature rises, dogs will try to cool off by panting. Their anxiety level will likely rise in relation to their discomfort. After all, imagine wearing a fur coat in a small 100-degree room. Some people crack the car windows open, thinking this will relieve any issues their furry family members has. However, an American Academy of Pediatrics study found in terms of heat rise over time, it makes very little difference whether a car's windows are closed or partially open. In both cases, a car's interior temperature can rise approximately 40 degrees within one hour, even when the exterior temperature is only 72 degrees. Heat stroke within dogs can happen within 15 minutes. Restlessness and discomfort are part of the first signs of heat stroke. Panting, trouble breathing, start to cry or bark for help. So imagine you've got your pet and you don't think that it's a big deal. You go in there for a few minutes and you come back and your dog is lethargic, drooling, can't stand anything. Imagine that that one second that you made the wrong decision to just go in real quick could be what ultimately ended your animal's life. It's just not worth it. There's a California law that states if you're concerned for a vehicle bound animal's safety and can't find its owner, you're legally allowed to break into the car to rescue the dog. Even, I've heard it with Teslas too, even if you have some profound reason that you're leaving the dog in the car and it's on and all this, somebody may still come up and break your window. So one, for your animal, don't be dumb, but two, for your car, because you're gonna have to replace a window. And honestly, you can't sue the person because it's a law. You'd have to prove that the animal wasn't in danger. So we are at a solid almost 18 minutes and drenched. I can feel it. Like every time I set my arms down, I got these nice lines going there. So I'm trying to keep them right here. Oh yeah. So 17 minutes with fully ceramic windows, coated ceramic windows and everything. Yeah, we just jumped from 110. We're at about 115. Wow, I am drenched, like head to toe. We're at 19 minutes. Like, yes, it's uncomfortable. And we are hitting about, oh, we're getting towards 120. Oh yeah, that's messed up. The other phone shut down because it can't take the heat. So imagine your dog being in this for even 20 minutes. Because when you go into a store, think about how lost you can get into doing something. You may be looking at stuff on a shelf or you may be doing something and not right back to it. Every single second counts. So we're, all, we're at 20 minutes now. And this is, this is intense. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, you gotta really like start to focus. Like, God, that's hot. Ah, try to touch the window. Dude, wow, that is hot. anxious where's my owner why am i why is my fur drenched all right guys 135 i don't know 30 minutes that was our call time because anything after this it's just stupid don't leave pets in the car let's call it ready let's see how nice it is outside oh oh my god that is so nice and it is 110 out here. Keep your pets safe. This is ridiculous. I am literally drenched. That's 30 minutes. Keep it safe. Love it. There you go.
just got this shirt. 